YouTube. It's your girl Candy Kelly. Let's put a chocolate around and a piece of gang gang. And I know I look ugly, but hey, it is what it is. Um, y'all, I try, I try to do the video on my XR, but y'all, did not going well. So I just switched to my other my other phone. Uh, we are here being sponsored by Hariba Go Bears. Joking, huh? Ain't nobody sponsoring me yet. Um, I'm trying not to make too much noise while I eat these because about kind of out. But I was asked to do a pregnancy update, which is what I'm so, which is what I'm giving y'all right now. Now, I'm 35 weeks and three days pregnant, which is eight months, and it's, it's just been a journey, y'all. It's been an amazing, to me, it's been an amazing journey. You know, I have my highs and my lows, you know, um, my sad moments, my happy moments. Um, oh yeah, I got my maternity pictures back, y'all. They are so freaking fire. They're so freaking fire. I love them. I love them. I love when I'm talking about it, they're going to be popping up. When I'm talking, I want y'all to see them, so they're going to be popping up. Um, but also go check them out on my Instagram at b r o w n i e dot k k band dot k k period. Um, they are amazing. I love them. They're so they're so alive. They're so vibrant. They're just amazing. And shout out to Jennifer Snook Photography. She is an she's a dual photographer. This is my first time ever working with her, and I love the pictures. Um, I just love them. And so yeah. So, you know, my tiny, she do newborn pictures. I think she do wedding pictures. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But I know she do newborn maternity. Um, she do. Two, she has a two in one package where you do maternity and um maternity and newborn. But for the first few like mostly weeks, about the first few two months, I'm not gonna really want nobody by my son. Uh, um, it's for immediate family. So, not saying, like, she got anything or nothing like that. It just, I just don't want anybody really around my son. You know, with the COVID thing going on and everything going on. I just don't really want nobody around my son unless it's immediate family. So, yeah. Um, but let's just say, y'all, in the beginning of my pregnancy, it was crazy. Um, I was going through a lot with my boyfriend. It's a lot of emotions, a lot of, just a lot of stress. I'm not going to too much touch base on it um it's a lot of stuff just stressing me out but we are so happy now we're good now i feel like we're more in love than ever we still you know have our little issues to work out and still gotta build and grow and get there and get there but i feel like we have grown more through the time being um <clears throat> when i first got pregnant i'm not gonna say i was upset i was just i didn't know how to handle it I just, it was a lot of crazy emotions just running through my head. Just a lot of just things just made me realize like, yo, like I'm finna be a mother. And you know, I don't believe in abortion. So let's say I got, so I'm not saying let's say. So if I would've got, oh, thank God I have it. Then uh, let's say if I would've got pregnant by any of my exes, I wouldn't have I wouldn't got an abortion. But, but because of the predicament that I was in with my exes, I probably would have gave my son no for adoption. Would have hurt me, of course. But, you know, of course I would have checked in here and there with him. Of course, of course. I'm not just going to leave my son hanging. I gave birth. Damn. <laughs> Am I joking? Yeah. I don't need my son for adoption. I don't want people to be like, damn, that's fucked up. I wouldn't have given him for adoption if it was about anybody else. Because I've always wanted to be a mother. Anybody in my school who I was close to or talked to or had a conversation with could tell you, like, oh, yeah, Kayla said in high school she wanted to be a mother. And I did. I've always wanted to be a mother. Not that, like, I expected to get pregnant at 18. Not really. Like, my 20s, yeah, you know, when I got my stuff together. Not that I don't have my stuff together now. But when I was in a better financial state, um, a better area, you know, where I live at. But you know, my son has gotten everything he needs because of the, because of me and my 
support my family so i would say that my son is going to be spoiled he's going to be greatly loved he's going to be just he's going to be my son um i've been having braxton this is basically a conversation y'all um i've been having braxton hicks which people would say contractions like pains. I've been having that, and um, y'all, I've been feeling like I'm about to go into labor. Sooner than later, because my, my son's, they, they said my son's estimated due date is January 28th. But my boyfriend believes that my son's supposed to get here on January 5th. Don't ask me why. Don't know. Everybody says he's going to come earlier. Early. Me, do I believe that? Yes. Because the way these contractions been coming in yeah i believe he's gonna come sooner than later if he does that'd be amazing for me if he don't i still will be happy you know because hey um uh, you see his bashing it right next to me he got a little toy in there like y'all literally he has took over my room <laughs> my son has literally took over my room um and what is crazy is seeing this baby stuff and like the toys that's up there in my closet that I saved for him. Seeing the pampers, wipes, it's just, it's just so surreal. Seeing the baby shoes that is hanging up on my door, it's just so crazy because it's like, you know, even though I'm eight months, sometimes it still hits me like, yo, I'm really pregnant. All right. Yeah, y'all really pregnant. Like, did y'all ever see this coming? Did y'all ever see this coming? Like, y'all, I was literally like four months. Oh, shit, I got Instagram downloaded here. But if you go to my Instagram, I have my whole my pregnancy on my um, on one of them um, little circle things, highlights. I literally damn near got my whole pregnancy. <laughs> I think I started when I was like two months, two months or four months. I'm not sure. I think it was two months. I'm not sure. But I was literally so tiny and I'm still tiny. People say I'm still tiny to be eight months. But if I, I mean, hey, I'm a tiny girl. Have I gained, uh, I'm a tiny girl. So I haven't really gained any weight. I've gained like 15, 16 pounds since I've been pregnant, which is amazing. Is amazing? But I am starting to get six, um, um, stretch marks my mom says but this is the belly this is my son i had to put baby on because he was a little ashy but y'all see look at my 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 um freaking navel my belly button has gotten so freaking dark since i've been pregnant with him and i don't know if it's gonna go back to normal i hope it does because you know it just looks weird to me it just looks weird to me y'all but you know, if it doesn't go away, I would just be like, dang, this is just a reminder. Hey, it is what it is. Um I just want to say that this this, like I said, it's been an, it's been a crazy, amazing journey. It's been one of them times where you just look at yourself and just be like, I've ne I never seen it coming, but I also did. Because me and my boyfriend, I'm not gonna lie, we did we was we was kinda doing it a lot. Like a lot so did i see me getting pregnant coming kind of kind of um but so far we have gotten everything for my son we got a little um safety kit like to like cut his nails brush his teeth brush his hair comb his hair like sleepy time um baby gift set johnson johnson of course period no other thing we have first, first touch baby gift, baby gift set. Basically, it's like daytime, nighttime stuff. I uh, so we have pepper, we have wipes. He got a lot of clothes, y'all. Like, when I say a lot of clothes, got a lot of clothes. Um, I showed y'all me putting up his thing on the back of my door. It's still, he still got some amount of shoes. Um, I'm getting him some more shoes. I want to wait. Honestly, because... I want to get matching shoes with my son. So that's why I'm kind of trying to wait 
for him to come instead of just going out and buying him because he has some he has some nice shoes right now for right now so he he's really honestly good um uh, yeah some booties um so you know little mittens on the hands um where else he got you can see the bassinet these little things that baby playing on like then when they start to walk i guess you can say like i started letting him do that when he like i'm hoping he's about to start like when he gets like four months because i think it's not when baby start to walk but when they start to get a little bigger they can play with stuff like that he got a lot of toys in him i got a swing he got one of them little i ain't gonna say he's a bouncer but he got one though he got a swing and he got one of them little things that you can just put him in and just he just chill um he got bottles already he got blankets my son is very well provided for him I said, very well provided for baby. Very well provided for. And this room is not as big if I, as I previously said. I don't know which video I said. But this room is not that big. So some of this stuff, I'm not going to say has to go. But some of this stuff is going to have to be definitely moved around. Because... And I already moved around some stuff, put some stuff together. But yeah. Most most definitely. Um Yeah. I'm just looking at this stuff, y'all, and it's just so surreal to me. Like I think most like he is moving right now. So if you seem kinda like just like making like an ugly little face or like rub my stomach, it's cause he's like he's moving a lot right now. Um but yeah it's just like sometimes it's just crazy to me because you don't really expect a lot of females they you know some females they try to get pregnant something like that but sometimes when it just happens it just pops up and it, you know you're told oh yeah you're pregnant congratulations you're just like oh, like that was me and i was just and i kept reading that paper over and over and over that the doctor doctor gave me and it was like pregnant i was just like yo <laughs> like you know, I think my mom has definitely warmed up to it. I think my grandmother has definitely warmed up to it. Because at first, you know, everybody's going to be upset, disappointed, you know, because I just graduated high school. And like my dad said, I really honestly kind of did get pregnant in high school. Even though I was homeschooled, I still did kind of get pregnant in high school. Because I had like, I think like a few weeks, a few weeks left before I got yeah, yeah, because I graduated in March. No, I got pregnant in March. I got pregnant in March. Which is crazy, y'all, because that was the first month me and my boyfriend, boyfriend had met. Um, I got pregnant in March, and I finished school in March. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure I got pregnant, like, the last week I was in school, I believe. Or maybe it was after. But, like, basically, I did get pregnant when I was in high school because I had just, just finished high school. Just got my high school diploma. And, boom, pregnant. So, you know, just getting out of high school being pregnant is crazy. It's, sometimes you look at it like, dang, like, I really didn't get to live my life. But that's not how I look at it. I look at it as, this is the start of my life. I'm giving life to a human being and he's basically giving me life because he's giving me a new he's gonna give me a, he's already given me a new outlook on life most most definitely but i feel like when he get here it's, it's gonna definitely give me a more different perfect perspective of what life is of and how you're supposed to deal with it because being a mom is a whole different life than when you're not pregnant just out there living there partying up yeah, it's a whole different, it's a whole different lifestyle, I believe. And you know, and I don't, I don't know how other people are gonna look at it, but then that's just how I look at it. I look at it as it's gonna be a whole different get up, which I definitely know. Being pregnant is a whole different get up. When I first decided to keep my son, I already knew right then. I already knew right then that it was gonna be a whole different life, baby. So 
you know, and a lot of people probably like, why you keep on, and a lot of people were confused, like, are you sure you're ready for this, da 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 da, and like, I don't think anybody can ever really be ready for a baby until the baby gets here, because having a baby in your stomach is a whole different thing than having him outside, because inside you just eat whatever he eats, what you eat, you pee, just walk around with a big old basketball on your stomach. But a big ass, I mean, I mean, I have some big old basketball. But a big old basketball as a stomach. But when he's here, you know, there's crying, there's pooping, there's peeing. There's having to, you know, just a lot of things. So, having him, having, I feel like having him here is definitely, of course, going to be a different a ball game. Um, but I feel like I'm prepared. Um, do other people in my family think I'm prepared? That's a different story. Um, I don't really talk to too many people that's in my family because, I'm not going to say it's because I'm pregnant, but I feel like a lot of it has to do with it. And <clears throat> I was told the other day, and I'm just going to share this because I, I love to share things with y'all. I was told the other day that when, you know, because I posted my personal, my, turn, my, uh, my maternity pictures on Instagram, and one of my cousins, he was not too fond of them, and I, I didn't really expect him to be, woohoo, y'all, they look like a happy family, woo 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 of course, because, you know, I'm his little cousin, and I, I, I was told that exact same day that when he found out I was pregnant, he was like, tell me it's not true, he didn't ask me, he was talking to my grandmother, and tell me it's not true, like, tell me it's not true she's pregnant and like you know I never really I'm not gonna say I didn't know that that, that was gonna be like their response because I knew a lot of people were gonna be disappointed a lot of people was gonna be hurt you know but it's just it's just like sometimes life just happens sometimes life just smacks you in the face like right now y'all I'm having like a contraction but I'm trying to keep calm but it hurts like I'm having like a pain right now so I'm just trying to keep a calm face because it's hurting. Um, but yeah, I just think that ladies, just, you know, just if you do get pregnant unexpectedly, unexpectedly, just make sure, you know, that this is something, something you definitely want. Cause I know, like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to have a child. I always knew I wanted to have a child, you know? Um, he came sooner than later and i'm still grateful um but ladies like i said if you get pregnant unexpectedly, make sure it's something you want i don't believe in abortion but if you decide to get an abortion make sure an abortion what you really want if you want to keep the child make sure that keeping the child is what you really want because there's a lot of mothers out there that have kids and then when they have the child they just be like dang like i made a mistake or if they have an abortion or give this child up, then they be like, dang, I made the mistake. So if you're not ready for a child, use protection or ladies' birth control. But if it is something that you want, just make sure that you're prepared. Make sure you got a great support system. And if you don't have a great support system, a great support system within your family, go find one. Because there is going to be some... You want some dress? Some dressing in the oven? Yeah. There is going to be people out there that will help you. Of course, most definitely. So, that's really it. I didn't really give too much of an update. We just talked. And the reason why I can't really give an update because, I mean, I can't give an update, but I basically just told y'all, like, things he's got, how many months I am. Um, how many weeks was I when I found out I was pregnant? I was eight. I was eight weeks when I found out I was pregnant. So, I'm about to be, what, two months? Was eight months? How was eight? Was eight weeks? Oh yeah, it was eight weeks when I found out I was pregnant. So yeah, I was going on two months pregnant when I found out. So yeah, so, yeah. That really it for this update. I mean, it wasn't too much, but it was enough information Talked about my family how they felt, how they feel now. So, yeah. I really think that every video, I, if it's just some, if it's not up to your liking, I'm sorry. 
Your girl really kind of just hungry right now and just thinking about food. Um, so that yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get to this outro, baby. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your uncle, tell your auntie, tell your nieces, tell your nephews, tell your cousins about who about us, baby. Oh, and I do want to share that a family channel might come soon, might not. I'm not saying it will. It might. It might just be me and my son. It might just be, it might be me, and my son, and, I mean me, and my son, and my boyfriend and his son, or me, and my son, and my boyfriend. Or it, it, it might come soon. It might come soon, you know. But right now, um, it's not in the works. We have not talked about it. But if it does, I would love for y'all to go support our channel. But if it doesn't, y'all would definitely see my son on here. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of this video, baby. Peace. Switching the positions for you.